the fabric of our communities consists of small business owners, sole proprietors, and independent contractors. So we have asked a statewide SBA micro lender uh, to join us today to discuss the program, its eligibility, and provide a case study for how the program has been used in the past. Loans, again, through the SBA microloan uh, program will have that six months um, principal and interest payments uh, through September. Based on the demand for financing experience during the CARES Act, I would suggest applying sooner rather than later to ensure that the six months of P&I will still be offered to your business. So our presenter today is Wendy Ballman. She is president of WIBIC and has been a longtime champion of Wisconsin entrepreneurs. Wendy, thank you for joining us today. Great, thank you so much, Brian, and thank you, Wida, for coordinating this effort and to also the fellow presenters of which we do work very, very closely with and have for decades. So first, just a brief commercial on WIBIC, a Wisconsin Women's Business Initiative Corporation. You can see that we were founded in 1987, so been around for a little bit, 30 plus years. We are statewide, um, so any loan in the state of Wisconsin or any business we can certainly assist with. We do have physical offices in Greater Milwaukee, right downtown Milwaukee at Schlitz Park. We have an office in Racine, an office in Kenosha, an office in Madison that embraces our South Central area, an office in Appleton and a satellite office in Green Bay, embracing the Northeast market, and then two staff members that work in the La Crosse and Viroqua area, but again, a statewide footprint. And since day one, WIBIC has focused its efforts on individuals where there is a real and or perceived um, unlevel playing field. And that is specifically and still unfortunately today, women, people of color, lower wealth individuals, we often refer to them as pre-rich people, and veterans and military connected families. So that's really our focus. We work with anybody, but the overall majority of the individuals we work with, 65% of our clients last year, for people of color and 88% in the city of Milwaukee, and about 75% of our clients are women. So really dedicated to the individuals that are starting or growing these micro and small businesses. And in essence, what WIBIC provides is quality business and actual financial educational programming. In 2019, we had probably over 400 distinct classes and courses. Some were one-time events and some were over a series sort of again, how to start that business, how to grow that business, some very formidable business planning series. The SBDC also has great series around business planning. And then for an existing business, how to accelerate, how to advance, how to go back and shore up on some management and marketing and financing techniques. Last year, we saw over 5,000 unduplicated clients through our business educational programming. And actually, um, before the epidemic and the crisis, the vast majority of those were really on ground. Evenings and weekends, people paying what they could afford to attend classes throughout Wisconsin. About 15% of our work last year was online and on demand. Since the epidemic and the crisis, we've moved all of our training at this time virtually online and on demand. So another resource WIPIC provides is that quality business education and support. We provide microloans and small business loans. So our credits range from $1,000 to $250,000. Our sweet spot is under $100,000. And we're specifically talking on this session about the microloans of $50,000 and under. In addition to providing that responsible capital to individuals starting or growing businesses, Part of the WIBIC model, as well as other micro lenders too, is to provide quality business technical assistance support for the life of the loan. So it's not simply about renting money, it's really about impacting lives on an economic basis and really helping that business owner through whatever he or she needs throughout again that life of the loan. So we have small business consultants that have an actual caseload of our loans regionally throughout the uh, state of Wisconsin, working one-on-one, -on -one, meeting individually, sometimes even on a weekly basis with our loan clients, providing that support. To some degree, the middle of the hourglass and making sure that they know about the other great programs that many of our partners are talking about. They know about accelerated programs. If they get, our client gets a friendly letter from the IRS, they don't just put it in a drawer, but they read it and see what needs to be addressed and looked at here. And that really, really makes a difference. So we're a high touch lender and are really sort of living again with that business for the life of the loan.
And we also provide some financial capability programs for individuals that have had personal financial stress, perhaps have gone through a bankruptcy, have colorful credit history, really need to work on their financial household, perhaps before they advance into starting or growing a business. All of the clients here, by the way, are actual Wibic loan clients. If you could advance the slide. So now to get into the specifics on the SBA microloan, um, Wibic was one of the actual first four SBA microlenders uh, 28 years ago. So we were in the very first round, our very first SBA microloan that we borrowed was for 750,000. We've since borrowed, I think we're up to our 17th or 18th SBA microloan. So how it works is that intermediaries, and we'll mention the other ones in the state, borrow money from the SBA, and then lend it out in the streets of Wisconsin for loans up to $50,000. The use of these loans is really quite flexible, working capital, inventory, things again that usually financial institutions cringe at, um, supplies, fixtures, furniture, machinery, equipment. So a lot of these are just some general uses that we see often. A lot of really, really great uses of the fund, specifically again that working capital and inventory. Eligible applicants um, and go through approval process. So again, um, most of them SBA microlenders in the state, but I'll speak to us specifically, you can apply for a microloan uh, 24-7. Uh, we have a formidable piece. If you need help with that, we'll have somebody work right along with you to help you get your credit beamed up into our system. But it is really very, very user friendly. Something that's important, important part of the program, the business does have to, to some degree, pass this credit available elsewhere test, meaning that if you can access capital from a financial institution, that's where you should be as opposed to using, again, a program such as the SBA microloan program. And then also individuals that are re-entry or living with a, a criminal record are able to apply for SBA microloans. That was something that was changed about four or five years ago. So again, just a footnote there. The documentation are really a lot of the standard forms. I won't go down the rabbit hole there. We generally ask for these items, but again, sometimes the business is a startup and we're only able to look at more projections. But if it is an existing business, we like to see three years of the business or personal tax returns. We do like to see a business plan, so to sharing the who, what, when, why, where of this business. We like to see a 12 month cash flow. And again, we'll work with these borrowers all along the way. SPDC is a superior partner to us, also working with individuals to get them loan ready for an SBA microloan and other SBA financing products. We like to look at three-year projections, a sense of what it looks like. You need to be in good standing with the Wisconsin Department of Financial Institutions. We definitely do and have lent to many individuals with bankruptcies, but generally we like to see that about 18 months outside of the discharge. So again, snapshot you know, of that. Case study here real quick is um, ABC Trucking. This was actual trucking business that we did. And so sort of just threw the truck in there um, because we had the name of the truck, I think, on there and Brian needed to pull that. But anyhow, it was a real life trucking company that we did. We've done many in the trucking area. And the loan request was for $40,000. The total project cost was $42,000. Our interest rate varies a little bit, 8 9%. We do have an application fee of $75, and we do like to see some equity injection coming to the table, if you will, some skin in the game. This is not a hard, 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 fast rule, but we do like to see that, that handled. So in this case, uh, basically, it was a standalone microloan. Um, the use of it was for the truck purchase and some working capital. And uh, approval time and timing on these loans, it really depends, as you know, other lenders here, but two to four weeks for approval. Again, if the application is submitted with all the materials that we need to look through, so we're transparent and clear, and then we can get the funding out the door in about also one or two weeks. Just as a note here, and I just gave some examples, um, we can also package SBA microloans with other funding. So sometimes micro lenders will package it with CDBG funding from a local block grant organization or faith-based funding, or the SBA micro lender might be a community development financial institution and leverage that. So this deal could have been, for example, a $75,000 deal of which we used 40,000 of SBA microloan and coupled it with some other dollars. So there is some great flexibility around the SBA microloan program too. Next slide. And so these are other SBA micro lenders in the state of Wisconsin. Um, just comment briefly on them. I know them all quite well. Advocap really does focus around the Fond du Lac community. CAP services, you can see the counties that they handle, um, again, specifically sort of around the Stevens Point area. 
Entrepreneur Fund handles a small area far up north into the west. First American Capital Corporation, the Native American Chamber, really has a statewide presence but focuses on some very specific counties. Uh, the Northwest Regional Planning Commission, again, some very specific counties there. And then Wisconsin, Wibbeck, uh, it's completely statewide.